Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be the top five VPNs of 2023. We're going to be listing out my top five recommended VPNs. Firstly, we're going to recommend three and then two um, at the end of the video. And I'll explain why I'm organizing it that way. Now, undoubtedly in January, there's going to be a lot of other videos just like this one from people who review web hosting or who just want to make money from reviewing VPNs and recommending them. They usually do these lists once a year, but they don't really review VPNs. And I do this because I review VPNs. So it makes sense to do a top five best VPN list. If you don't believe me, well, look at all this data I've accumulated just from last year alone. I've been doing this for a long time. So anyways, guys, hope that gives you some credibility into trusting my recommendations. I'm going to be putting links for all these VPNs down in the description down below. But unlike other YouTubers or other websites listing their favorite VPNs, these aren't organized by commission rates and they're not sponsored. I don't work for any of the companies. These are objectively my favorite VPNs from the system designed that I think you guys value and input from the community as well. So guys, first up, let's discuss the top five VPNs. <clears throat> All right, guys, first up on my recommendation is going to be none other than TorGuard VPN. Now, TorGuard VPN has been a long time uh, top ranker here on the channel. We could put it that way. They're excellent in pretty much every single category, namely, especially good in areas like pricing. If you use my promo codes that pretty much go all the time, if you use the promo code, it also recurs at the same rate, which is very unique in the industry. So let's say you get a uh, tour guard for around 30 bucks a year, $70 for three years. The promo codes are insane with this one. It will be that after that term. So if you pay $30 for a year, the next year will also be $30. Other VPNs don't do that. So you can use promo code TomSpark2022 or 2023, whatever you want to do. You can see the 50% off there. TorGuard also has a wide variety of different plans to choose from. And I've made videos talking about those in details, but the core VPN plan is going to be good for most people since it pretty much gives you everything you want. Uh, TorGuard, where could it improve? Well, it just needs to be open source pretty much and add split tunneling. But besides that, it's a very good VPN. They can also do an external no log audit. However, I'll talk to the team they do seem to be in the works doing an external no log audit which is good anyways guys what's my next vpn recommendation well it's going to be none other than surprisingly nord nord is completely opposite of torgard in a lot of ways um, they have more trackers on their website they have trackers on their application they their pricing after the first term increases um, to like a hundred dollars per year um and the company just has not been as transparent, transparent long term. Uh, it's kind of based out of a shell location. So it's, it's a complete opposite of TorGuard in a lot of ways. But it does have some good things about it. And why does it do good in the review system, even though there are so many cons with NordVPN? Just to be honest, well, it has a pretty good application. It's pretty future rich with nice things like their new remote mesh, mesh networking kind of thing, which provides local access if you're not home to VPN, which is nice. Um, it also has amazing speeds, a really good server network, amazing streaming compatibility, probably my recommended option for unblocking the most streaming services like Netflix and those kind of things. But it works well for unblocking Netflix, pretty much any region of Netflix that you'd want and other content as well. Not only that, but they've also stepped up the customer support. Um, and like I said, the pricing can be OK long term. Just watch out for um, those increase in price. Uh, additionally, NordPass is actually a pretty good password manager as well. So if you wanted to check that out, although I do kind of use Bitwarden myself since it's more transparent. So NordVPN, a lot of issues but a lot of strengths, very user friendly, looks really good, easy to use, um, amazing streaming compatibility. So if you're someone who um, values those things a little bit more than what I said about TorGuard, this could be a decent option. Just watch out for a lot of shills on YouTube. A lot of people like to shill this on YouTube. A lot of people like to shill this on the internet. They have really good sponsorships and commissions and stuff like that, but that's not influencing this recommendation here. And that's why it does have so many caveats. Anyways, guys, let's get into our next recommendation. That's going to be Proton VPN. Now, Proton VPN has kind of climbed its way up the tier list um, pretty significantly due to being a lot improved over the years. 10, v 10 simultaneous VPN connections is really good. The application looks really nice. Um, they've done a lot of work in making it feel modern. 
it's open source as well third party audited no trackers on anything so it's probably even a little bit better than TorGuard and um, NordVPN in that pure transparent factor. Although I would say I do prefer, prefer TorGuard's kind of home run business style. Uh, Proton is kind of going a little bit more towards the path of Nord being kind of corporate, I think, and kind of getting pretty big. Um, so that's just my personal preference, though. <clears throat> but if we take a look at the application, you can see... If we take a look at the application, you can see it looks really good. Um, it's very easy to use. It's got cool intuitive buttons to kind of switch settings around. So I really like the application. Overall, it also handles streaming pretty well too. So if you're looking for a VPN that is super transparent, at least in terms of, you know, checking the boxes, um, Proton is an excellent choice. And that's why a lot of people like Proton. It's also got poor forwarding and those important things too. I wouldn't really recommend the free plan. The connection speed is really slow. But let's go on to my last two recommendations and why am I putting them there? Well, each one for its own reason. WeVPN is an excellent VPN. It's actually rated number two on the channel. That said, I've kind of had spotty communication with the management team at WeVPN, so much so that it's kind of led me into some doubts about the company. Uh, I was very close contact with the co-founder and he would provide me with roadmaps and stuff like that. And overall, I interact with the community at a pretty good scale. And in fact, the communities on Discord even noticed a lack of this communication and their Discord is now kind of a ghost town, which is unfortunate because that was one of the things I really liked about WeVPN in the first place was that really nice community vibe about it. Nowadays, that's not so much there, but the product itself is still very good. Um, admittedly, it's got good speeds, the application works fine, tickets are still answered for the most part on the website, and it still seems to be churning along as to what they left it, but I'm not sure really what's going on with the company. I talked to someone and they said, you know, they're working on some kind of new feature and that's why they've been so busy, but I don't really buy that too much. I'm not really sure um, about the feature of this one, but it still works good right now. That's why it's kind of in the place that it is. Um, I have a promo code for this one as well, Tom Spark. So if you guys want to check out WeVPN, it ticks a lot of the boxes. Uh, just that caveat with this one. So check that out if you're interested as well. Now, lastly, guys, Hide.me. This is an interesting service. In a lot of ways, it checks a lot of the boxes as well. Good streaming compatibility, very affordable, transparent company that really seems to care about privacy, 10 simultaneous connections. It's third party audited, probably one of the first VPNs to do so. Um, good sales. If you click my link, you get one of the best pricing for a three year VPN. So that is good. The only caveat with this one is my speeds just aren't as good. I don't know what the issue is. I've been talking with the company and they want me to kind of, they were like, hey, Tom, you know, you got to do a speed test. Tom, you got to do a torrent test. And it's like, I do that stuff with every VPN. I don't know what it is with Hide.me. I just don't get the same kind of speeds. And that's why for my recommendation as the best VPN, there's just that small caveat. That said, I was talking to some people on my Discord server and they did say they, they some people said they do kind of get slow speeds with high.me. One guy said um, he's getting fine speeds. So it kind of just depends on where you are. But compared to some other VPNs, they do kind of have some spotty areas in their server network. For me specifically, I'm in Seattle and they don't have a Seattle server, which could be one reason. But this guy is in LA and he gets very good speeds. So it could be up to you. Um, if you think you're in one of those core locations like Los Angeles or one of the other core locations around the world, uh, then Hide.me is probably going to deliver just fine. And, and that is why it's still a recommendation because it does so well in all the other categories. Just that small caveat. Uh, I can't really figure out what's going on with the speeds for me. It just doesn't deliver, especially when testing it with uh, Qubit Torrent and stuff like that. I don't know what's going on with it. Maybe there's some configuration I did wrong. But again, it should just kind of work out of the box. That's just my opinion, guys. But I still think this one is worth a shot and a recommendation if you don't like any of the other options here or you wanted to try something out that could work very well for you specifically. Anyways, guys, those are my final thoughts on the top five, top three as well, or top two, depending on how the, the way you're looking at it, of my recommendations for 2023. If you want to stay up to date, check out the tier list of vpntierlist.com. This table will be updated along the year. If I ever manage to figure out what's going on with Hide.me, I might also up their speed as well if i could figure that out um but yeah stay tuned on the channel and i'll see you again very soon